and then satisfying Title um, IX. I would say to you, everything that you've discussed has completed that requirement. All strategies that you've included and used have always included compliance with the gender equity of Title IX. Um, and then all of your scenarios and, and strategies that you've also reviewed meet the criteria of the last assumption which is to not include elimination of any of the existing sports for men. Point. So our our student sports. fee is, is our student athletic fee is ninth in the system. Overall fee is seventh. Uh, the athletic fee is ninth in the ranking system. There's no doubt that Appalachian's uh, enrollment for applications has increased. And, and you can see the quotes in this last article, I think it's the one that had the quotes from various folks, <coughs> including the uh, sorry, I kept sending them to Tara. I was sending the good with the bad as long as it, when they came through. Uh, but the quotes from the president of, of Appalachian on, on the campus atmosphere and, and all of that included. So do I think it's helping their enrollment? Absolutely, I think it is. So, and, and we would have to decide on the transfer. Well, do we need that help? Do we want that help? Is it important uh, to us? And I, I and I don't want to speak for Mac, but we have spent a lot of time preparing for that meeting. And I think the question of the value is something that he wants you to consider. There is no quantitative answer. I'm going to go back and correlate that to the way South Florida started. They had a similar drive. Remember, they did the huge community drive around ticket sales, more driven like a community effort to support the university, not to, uh, to support football. And that's really what Mac was talking about. Um, Memorial Stadium is going to be always a question because it doesn't look like Charlotte anymore. I mean, it looks like the WPA project that it was. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 and it's a great WPA project in yeah. um, And I actually think your alumni forum was well attended. Your faculty and staff forum was well attended. And the probably least well attended was your student forum. So I, I am glad that you had the student survey in addition to the student forum, the survey was basically a yes or no question, which was very responsive to being yes. But this one may give you a little bit more of the backup information around, or the summary from the students around the student forum. But if we look at all of this, basically, I felt that all of these forums and the key themes reflected the same things that you're having to deal with as, as an expression of your willingness to move forward towards a recommendation. So if you look on the first page from the alumni forum, you know, what are the long-term benefits of UN, or football to UNC Charlotte and what is that value to become a great institution? Um, what is the potential impact on academics? Um, everyone thinks that it can be positive for recruitment but also re recognize that there, there's competition for any one dollar out in any budget whether it's the university system budget, I would assume that it would be the same thing within the athletic department. Basketball and football are going to, it's, it's, a, it's a question around the impact and making choices. The idea that it's intangible, the benefits for um, football and community support being critical. Um, the forum key results from the faculty and staff, I think very clearly to remember that Academics are why people go to college, um, that that's the mission, and to make sure that there is support and enrollment growth and um, that increased cost of the, um, to students for any program like this doesn't inhibit access, access to the university. And then the final one um, from the students um, is this idea of building that bridge of relationship between the community and the university, um, looking at school spirit, and I don't—I didn't know that it had an image of a second-rate school, but a lot of your students really did talk about, you know, people consider UNC Charlotte a school that's not in that top tier of public universities, and in some ways they relate that to the full university experience. I felt like. We would have heard from a greater number or would have had much louder voices if there was a large constituency against this. And I just didn't hear that. Under Joan Lordings, on um, the University of South Florida now, <coughs> this was done before all of the big success. But if you look at it, I mean, you know, it, it's clear. I mean, there, 
The faculty opposed it. The faculty senate voted against it twice. Um, there was all a <laughs> debate about who's giving money and where that money should be applied. I just thought it, it typified, it was a good example of how things begin and they, have, they you know, reach a different place and things, positions change. And, but I, I think it's a real acknowledgement of some of the things that you A time for each committee member to address your issues, your concerns, for you to say whether or not you're ready to make a recommendation or not, and if you're not ready to make a recommendation, what other information you might need. And, and then if after polling we find out we are ready to make a recommendation, then we'll proceed with what would that recommendation I understand that a football program, any program, um, I, um, I guess, is that it won't happen without alumni support and, and really serious alumni support. And this, and this is where um, we're, we're going to have to do a lot of you know, soul searching. Is, is, is it going to be there? Um, is it going to, uh, I mean, to the point that, it, that you can build a new facility on, your, on, on campus? And that's what we got to that's what we got to put our arms around, I think. However, this decision, if, if it's a decision to go forward, that there is a lot of time to formulate um, a plan to create the buzz. And <coughs> I, I, I just remember what Grant Taft said. Uh, he said, you know, look at your community. When we talk about corporate support, it's not overwhelming on, on, uh, on Max's uh, information. But Charlotte is Charlotte, Charlotte, and I think Charlotte can wrap its arms around the college football team. Um, I know that when Conference USA, I mean, I refer back to the only revenue sport that the school has, when Conference USA was playing basketball in Halton Arena, it was it was quite an event when you had the uh, Louisville's and the Cincinnati's coming to town. Davidson two weeks ago, that was very similar to what yeah. Halton Arena used to be like. <coughs> and, and it's a lot of students, but it is also some uh, people in the community that did not go to uh, Charlotte that come out to see games like that. Uh, entertainment. There's an entertainment value. And I told Bob, Light Rail will be out there <laughs> in the near future, right? <laughs> but I, I just, there's a lot of time between get the committee votes to, to go forward and the Chancellor approves of yours. This, this, be, this, be, this happening, um, I think that there are lots and lots of old Charlotteans and people that have been around a long time that would love to see Memorial Stadium upgraded and up, upfitted. And I think that would be one of the key uh, elements of this, of this plan. Um, and that, therefore, when when Charlotte's the 49ers are through playing there and go to their new stadium on, on campus, Charlotte's going to have a beautiful new little old stadium upfitted mm -hmm. and made, made beautiful again to use for whatever events we can put in there. And then the other thing is everybody loves a shiny new toy and a, and a pretty new stadium out on campus is just going to be, uh, it engender an incredible amount of support, in my opinion, as far as people at least get to the games. and. Uh, of course, you got to build it first, but uh, I, 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 think I, it's, I think we've seen that happen around here enough. I think I know the tangibles and intangibles of the college football program, which includes football. In the very first meeting we had, this whole situation has been a no-brainer as far as I'm concerned. Uh, we wanted to know what it cost and how we were going to pay for it when we found out. And, uh, my opinion, the time is now. Uh, where do you go for? We're a metropolitan area today of about 1.5 million. Um, we're projecting, uh, Chamber of Commerce projects that in 20 years uh, we'll be in excess of 4 million people in the metro area. I don't remember the enrollment uh, numbers. Atlanta. 35,000 is the 4 million people. So 20,000 today, projected to 35,000 <coughs> in the next 15 years. Um, I'm haunted by the question that one of our first speakers asked early on, if we are going to provide the complete experience to our student level in this kind of a market, 
how in the world do you do that, whether it's right or wrong, without providing college football, which is an expectation? How do you become, how do you reach your potential as a university if you tell your students on Saturday, if college football is your thing, hop in your car and drive to Chapel Hill or to Clemson or to South Carolina or to any of the other schools in the area? So uh, I think we have the information we need to, to move forward with the recommendation. Let me say, when you look at all the information we have been through the last six months, you'll find there are a lot of reasons not to have football at UNC Charlotte, but I think there are more reasons to have football, and for me, the compelling um, idea comes down to one word, and that is connection. I've been involved with the alumni for over 27 years, and the consistent thing through the Alumni Association is connection. <coughs> connecting the alumni to you, to the university, <coughs> connecting the students to the university through the college experience, and connecting Charlotte to the university. And so I see that football is a step in that direction. If we vote to do it, I think part of our recommendation ought to be that we do it right, which means that we put together a winning program in the right division with the right kind of buzz. Um, we know how to do it right in this community, but we need to make sure that it, 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 it has that as part of the recommendation that goes forward. Um, I think probably the most telling facts in, in the material that we have is when we look at other institutions that have recently made this decision, obviously South Florida is one that sticks out, but uh, that is telling to me uh, because of the amount of support they have now had at the university uh, that they didn't have before, and it's not just in the football area. In fact, it's probably more so across the university than in the football area. Um, I am uh, concerned about the increase of student fees and this falling on the back of the students, at least for the operating costs. Um, I, I do think we will still reach those numbers of students uh, at whatever level the fees and the tuition are, but we do have an obligation to in the state to keep our education and access to education uh, extremely affordable. I'll just use those texts. But that's not a decision for me as a member of this committee to make. It's a decision for the Board of Trustees and the Board of Governors to make. So I'm comfortable with moving forward, recognizing that they have to weigh those concerns as they move forward uh, as to how we keep education affordable um, in the state and accessible to all. Uh, but I do see the overall impact that it can make to uh, the Charlotte community, uh, but probably more important to the UNCC community to make it an even stronger community uh, than what it is today. Do you feel that you have enough information to make the recommendation? So, uh, again, green means that you believe there's enough, yellow means that you can support that, and red means you want to have more discussion about it. So, uh, do you believe that you have enough information to make a recommendation today on uh, to the Chancellor on football. Okay. Check with Mac. Check with Mac. Oh, Mac, what card are you holding up? I'm holding up the green. Good. Hey. I thought so. I thought I could have some, but I wasn't sure. I haven't seen my camera before. <laughs> okay. Well, Mac, you have the green. Directionally, are you in support of you and uh, of football at UNCC? And Mac, you're trying to say something, so go ahead, jump in here. No, no, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Direction, are you in support of a recommendation to the Chancellor to have football at UNCC? And so that will be the first question that we'll vote on. So let me see your cards on that. Okay. Mac, what card are you holding up? Well, this is kind of neat, and this is like a lot of folk being on the solo. I'm going to the green card. Ah, good. And we didn't influence you because we didn't tell you that we were all green. Thank you. <laughs> we're all green. And Christmas colors here. I think it's very important that, that if I go back to Paul Griffin, who came from uh, Georgia Tech, he talked to us, and you remember it, but it was that late corrected.
Okay. Yes. Yes. Clarification, because just recently the NCAA had a new ruling. Uh, since this committee has been <coughs> up and running, somebody that starts football can only do it at the one double A level. I, I say only cannot do it at the one A level. They will not take any more members in at this moment. Right now, that moratorium is a four-year four-year moratorium, and that is why you see in our numbers us uh, starting in four years at one A. Uh, normally, moratoriums are lifted shortly thereafter, but there really is no end limit. They could continue the moratorium at that point for a period of time, or they could say, from this point forward, you may move into 1A. Uh, so we are obligated in the beginning right now to be, uh, to start, if we're going to start a program at the 1AA level, but could, we could, according to what Mac is saying, oh, I'm sorry, move, I don't know how to do it. Um, <laughs> it's a new one. Um, we could move in as rapidly as possible if that is the wishes or the, or for the recommendation for this group. The member, the recommendation should be our goal is to keep fees as low as possible to support the plan that's done right, and the numbers are illustrative. Well, yeah. On, on behalf of the athletic department, I'd like to thank all of you. It's been a lot of thoughtful deliberation. It is not an easy subject. Uh, for any of us, uh, but but one that has deserved the attention that you have given it, and we do appreciate the time commitment that you've given and your thoughtful deliberation. And that's also on behalf of our students and student athletes. I speak for them as a result of the forums uh, that have taken place and, and the faculty. So thank you for that. And